<laughs> Good evening, America. <laughs> what, are you what is it? June the uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 11. 11. 2018. About 7 30 p.m. Still bright outside. I like this time of the year. I like it when it's cold. I get to hunt. Yes, yes. Hunting is fun. But yeah, we, we just wanted to put this uh, quick video out here. Um, no, nah, we, we were just sitting here talking yeah. on the ride home from work. Yeah. And it was like, it's a. It's a it's like a big thought process in the world. Like you got two different ones. It's like if the world is good, and and bad things happen because people make bad cause, things happen. Yeah, people people cause, cause bad things happen. Or the world is a jacked up spot to begin with, mm -hmm. and we just do the best do we the can, best can as people with the jacked up situation that we have to make like, it better. What's about the deal in South Africa? Like with the whole thing with the um the people that believe that they're their rights to the land because their ancestors were aboriginal descent yeah yeah they got of, the, of the land mm -hmm. and they want to kick all the white people off the land now i see where that's coming from i understand your, your, <laughs> your thought process like okay dude was all land free we're gonna kick you off because you stole it but these they didn't steal it but though. really whose land is, is like the is, ancestors came yeah okay stuff happened who really owns yeah. land but who land. owns land yeah right. anytime that <laughs> land is in in conflict like Stuff having bloodshed happens. Right over here. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the strongest Anytime thing. societies grow, bloodshed happens. Even in Africa itself, black tribes were going over there for land. They were killing each other. For their land. Bloodshed <laughs> for land. So Any they didn't claim the land is their own. America. A bunch of bloodshed happened. Yeah. And if people say, talk about a price of a civilized society, and they don't really understand that really the price of a civilized society is is created in, in blood. It's blood. <laughs> and death. They're fighting in blood and death. This is what happens. Why? Because the world is a jacked up spot. That's that's pretty it's, much what it's it boils messed down up. To. That's pretty much what it boils down. You to. get dealt a hand, you do the best you can with that hand until that hand is depleted. You might lose that round. Yeah, I understand that. But you get another hand. You dealt again. Take that hand and do the best you can with that hand. Exactly. Now, some people, of course, you're gonna end up with a flush at the beginning. You can't. You gonna. You gonna win. <laughs> you're gonna be better off than some people. Some people, your hand gonna be jacked up every time. But hopefully, you can do what you can to work your way and not end up in the same spot you were when you started. Exactly. And that's and that's the big difference between a, a, a capitalist society. I mean, a socialist society. Oh. In, in a communist society. In a society like, that you have, somebody's going to end up with a short, short end, end of the stick. That's it. <laughs> no matter what. Capitalism, communism, socialism, um, any any type of government that any, you have, any, there is no perfect government. Any ism. <laughs> somebody's going to end up with the short end of the stick. It's just a reality of, of, of life. Exactly. It's, I mean, it's life not fair. Life is not fair. Mm -hmm. That's why the Hebrew doesn't have a word for fair. <laughs> it's just not. Because it's not... It is, Life is not fair. Yeah, and, and instead of trying, of course, that's like you said at the beginning, and trying to make it like some people look at it, the two the two things, I mean, types of ways people look at life like, as far as it being uh, individuals creating this, this evil world but, or everybody being good and, and having this good heart. People and, are inherently good. Yeah. And that's, circumstances that's is what make people bad. People bad. No, yeah. oh, no. The reality is, People are inherently evil. evil. <laughs> and you got to work. That's why it's so easy to do bad. It's so easy to do A bad. child is not, you don't have to teach a child to be selfish. Exactly. <laughs> you don't have to teach a child to fight. Nope. You don't have to teach a child to do anything that is wrong, to be selfish, host up to themselves. You don't have to teach them that because that's in them already. You have to teach them to share. Yeah. You have to teach them to collaborate and work with others. Why? Because <laughs> that's, that's human nature to be selfish and be reserved and be all about me. Mm. And I think it's selfish to, to pretty much generalize and make it like, okay, well, uh, yeah, everyone's good. We just assume that everyone's just so good. And, and, and you know, no. those individuals who are doing the things that may seem like like wrong or doing the hard things in life, those people are just bad. We should count them out. They have no reason for, for doing the things that they're doing or not. So in a sense like that that's i think that's kind of in a, in a sense like yeah self you're generalizing you haven't had to deal with anything in life so you just look that and project that on the other individuals who may have to do hard things or make decisions in life because they've actually dealt with with hardships in life so yeah i say i mean it's not all black and white a whole lot of time no. we, we stay i mean i'm we guilty to generalizing i mean everybody is yeah every, everybody that's the that's the thing what i'm saying everyone is guilty of it 
Yeah. Every every person gets it. But so when you but when you say like, oh well, you're bad because you you do this, or you're bad because you did. You can't really just throw that out there on on, on people based off of what they do. You know, basically because everyone everyone does it. So because we all like we just said inherently. Yeah, we bad. <laughs> We're all bad. People here. are bad. <laughs> People are bad. That's why it's easy for societies yeah. to sacrifice their own people yeah. and I for think, their own own good or for their own rise. They want to. We're gonna build this place on the bones. Yeah, on the prim- yeah. of these people. And it's the premise of of we were making our lives better. It's it's a selfish concept, but and that's what, again go back to everyone. Everyone does it. Whatever, uh, even when you just look at politics and stuff in general. I mean, whatever idea that you have that or that you want to implement into society. It's pretty much based off the premise that of this is going to make my life better, whether you want to believe it or not, yeah. you know, or admit it or not. I'll say it's always going to be based off that premise. I do this because I want to. You just look at the left and the right. I'm doing this because I feel like it's going to make my life better. I want them to do this because I feel like it's going to make my life better. If it's the world selfish. collapsed <clears throat> and society collapsed, who would you protect first? Would you protect the stranger? Or would you protect the people that you are responsible for? Like me, I would protect my family first. Why? Because they are my immediate group. Yeah. And that's what that's how we act. It is. That is true. That's true. So I think really if we just start looking at it from a from sense of everyone just looked at it from a sense of, okay, we're inherently evil. <laughs> where everyone's just inherent, inherently, we're, we're, our heart is Not saying is that bad. we should just settle for that. No, no, don't settle for that, obviously. Obviously. But of course, you know, people who are more spiritual and, and believe on... Uh, on like like Jesus Christ and you know those people who are always spiritual, they they obviously have something else to grasp onto uh, to say. Well, I need this is why I need this. This is why I need my my group, my social group, whatever. You know, it doesn't even have to be that much on uh, on a, a, a religious level, but just in more sense of uh, I have something to grasp onto, and that's why we grasp onto things like other people, social groups, different things like that oh. as people because we can't do it by ourselves. You know. Nope. You know, and I think they I think they realize it. And they may not admit it, but they realize it, yeah. I'm screwed up. <laughs> My heart is evil. I'm I need screwed help. up and I need help, yeah. So the the quicker we realize that, I think the better off as a society, you know, each and every individual will be and um that'll expand out to, to uh each little group and the little groups will expand out to the to the, the regions and uh possibly out to the world. So yeah, that's all we had to say, I guess. Straight. Anything else to implement? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. Just, just no. Utopia doesn't exist. It does not exist. <laughs> there maybe was an Atlantis at some point in time, but there is no utopia in uh, the and world today. Over the seven continents, got destroyed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're signing out here. Good. Yeah. Well, that's it. Continue to fight for the Constitution, people. With these, so that hopefully, preferably, we we'll never have to use. Peace. Peace. Deuces. <laughs>